Hello team, welcome to our channel. This is the part 2 video of the IPL process. So today we are going to discuss some basic concept of the IPL. So IPL, what is IPL? So IPL is the initial program load. Is the process of loading the operating system to the central storage from the dash D. Like any program has to be present in a real storage before execution. So GOS initialization we have some phase each phase built on the next and within each phase steps built on each other so first phase is the hardware ipl so what is hardware ipl so hardware ipl phase it's initialize the ipl process so this is very basic it's initialize the ipl process so step two we have the ipl rims so IRIMS, IPL resource initialization module, the IRIM phase makes the environment ready to load the operating system to real storage. Next we have NIP RIMS. So it's a nucle nucleus initialization phase. So this is a phase when operating system is actually loaded and when we called a nucleus loaded that means we will not load the entire operating system into the real storage but only a central part of operating system that's called nucleus is loaded in this phase next one is the msi so msi is the master scheduler initialization and master scheduler creates the address space for the subsystem to run and we have the JS. so you already know this is the job entry subsystem so the ipl process until the system is ready to start either JS 2 or JS 3 we need to use so there were four major steps you understand first one is the hardware process of loading GOS. Second one is loading the initialization of the nucleus. Third is initialization of general system resources. And last one is the master scheduler initialization. So now we are going to discuss HMC. HMC, you already know HMC is the hardware management console. So this is the hardware management console. It is connected through a local area network. That means LAN. And uh, this is a frame contains of the CPC in the ched frame. There is the server firmware and uh, LPAR usually refer to starting up the LPAR. LPAR that is the logical partition is a way of subdividing of a computer resources including the processor, memory and storage. And it's also split them into a smaller logical units that can be uh, run by separate part of the operating system. The LPAR contains the resources like processors, memory, input, output devices and operates as an independent system. Multiple logical partition can exist within a mainframe hardware system and LPAR act as the separate computer and starting up or shutdown of one LPAR will not affect the other LPAR that means it's provide the high availability so this is the HMC